Hey everybody, this is Brian Hatch, founder of Audit Big, and I'm excited about this session of our blog today to talk a little more about the infopreneur's plight. Now, what do I mean by infopreneur? If you are selling an online product or digital service, something online, that you don't necessarily even have a physical store or a physical product to sell, um, that's you. Whether you're doing events, whether you're doing speaking engagements, whether you're doing courses and training, whether you're doing um, anything in that regard. Anything that's inf information, if you're selling information and you do it all digitally, then this is a fun episode for you. I've had the opportunity to speak with many entrepreneurs about what they're doing, especially in this info space, about what is happening in their business. And I see it time and time again and over and over again that there are some main buckets. Um, and this is, if you can imagine, like they're dividing their brain into all these different parts, okay? First, the infopreneur learns that there is this uh, possibility to make money online, uh, selling their information. And so they learn about that. And they follow gurus, and they follow these people that say, do this and check this out, and this is, your, this is what you can say, and this is how you can do it. Um, and so they get excited, which is good. Um, from there, they start creating their content. They usually create their course um, or their offering, their product, whatever the case it is. So they, they create that product. Once they've created the product, then they figure out how they're going to market it. And in that process, the marketing, marketing can like divide someone's brain into like 17,000 portions from there. But in the marketing perspective, they're thinking, okay, uh, going back to the person that, that they learned that like, oh, I can like sell online courses or maybe they figure that on their own. So then they, they, they go, okay, I got to post on social media every day. I've got to um, do a blog. I've got to make sure my website's up to date. I got to make sure that people can, can talk to me. They got a group setting to talk to me. They've got, they can do um, some big event with me. They can do these little courses with me. I got to have some mini courses that are lead magnets. And these lead magnets are like little things that I give, you know, people give me their name and their email and then they get uh, a PDF or a video series or whatever the case is. And then, then after they get through all those things, then I'm going to get them into my sales funnel. And in the sales funnel, that campaign is going to teach people that they could do business with me and then they're going to buy something from me. After they buy something from me, I'm going to help them buy more from me and help them keep a part of me forever. And they're going to be awesome clients and it's going to be amazing. And then my favorite part of the infopreneur in that journey, they sit down with somebody and it's usually somebody they love um, or somebody that maybe it's somebody that is making them excited about doing this thing. But what they do is they do fake math. Oh, I love fake math. Um, I laugh at fake math because this is the fake math that is uh, produced and put out there by so many uh, ad agencies out there is look, all you got to do is get 10 clients paying you $1,000, you're making $100,000. Or all you got to do is sell 300 of this little thing and then you're going to make $300,000. It's going to be amazing. Um, this fake math uh, that, we, that we do to ourselves, the infopreneur, we do this to ourselves. We do this math. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have goals or object uh, objectives or look at things and say, okay, I want to make $100,000. How can I do that? And then back it out. I'm not saying that's bad. But it's funny how we do that to ourselves and say, look, all we need is X. And we make like a million bucks. That's all we need is X. But to get X is like years of time. And, it, and to get X followers is years of time. To get X number of people that know me for this thing, years of time. Um, it is so interesting and intriguing to me that uh, we do that to ourselves. And so... This infopreneur's plight, they go through, they get excited, they, they build a course, they learn how to market it, they r figure out how to do ads. That's another part of the marketing. They figure out how to do ads. They like either get an agency or they do it themselves, they figure out how to do it, and they're like, wow, this is crazy. And they realize it's not easy. And like the way that people tell me to do it, I'm doing it that way, but I'm still not making a lot of money because I'm not spending $4,000 a day in ad spend. I'm doing $30 a day or $50 a day or $100 a day. Um, and they, they, they go through this like learning curve. It's like this up and down um, learning curve. This infopreneur is like, I can do it. Whoa, that's really hard. I can do it. Whoa, that's really hard. I can get a team. Oh, that's really hard to manage them. I can do this. It's, it's, 
oh crap, I gotta pay taxes. It's all, like all of these things that go up and down for these infopreneurs and it's hard. And then there's nights, I'm, I know this personally and I know that it's happened. If you are a true infopreneur, you've had nights where you've felt so alone and so depressed about what you've built. You've written a book, you've written these blogs, you've done these videos, you've done all this work, you've done all this stuff and it's not working. And it's like, it, it's like, it's like ripping your soul out of your body and you feel horrible, you feel worthless, you feel like you can't provide, that you need to quit this infopreneur thing, you gotta quit what you're gonna do and you struggle and you fight through that and, and those that continue that path recognize that that's just a, a doubt, that's just a feeling. Uh, they push past that and figure more things out. And really, um, there's a lot to it. I mean, seriously, if you're gonna put out a video every week for this whole year, there's some serious consideration of what you're gonna do. Some people say, well, just throw it up a video. I know infopreneurs that have followed the advice of sending out a, a video every week and have seen nothing come of it. That's because there's a whole lot more at play. Ads is a portion of it. Content creation is a portion of it. Social media organic is a portion of it. Building landing pages is a portion of it. Copywriting is a portion of it. Um, building a team is a portion of it. Knowing who your audience is is a portion of it. Your message, your branding is a portion of it. Um, there's so much, the audience you're going after, the audiences that are following you and that shouldn't be following you. There's so much to your business, the accounting. Um, guys, there's so much that happens to this infopreneur and I recognize how strugglesome that can be. I wanna offer some words of advice that would help you if you're feeling that way or if you felt that way and you wanna know that you're on the right path. Here's a couple of things you should be doing. Is number one, seek out true experts. Now, I, I, I'm very cautious to use the word expert because every day there's a new, every day there's probably thousands of experts that, that do that fake math thing that someone says, look, you could run ads for 50 businesses, you can pay a million dollars, it'd be amazing. And they're like, I don't know how to run ads. Um, an expert does what they tell you to do, okay? If an expert tells you to run ads, they are running ads. If they are not running ads, then they are not the expert on ads. Now, someone that's not running ads could say, need to run ads, but they shouldn't be telling you how to do it, right? Um, so seek out true experts. They can, they can shortcut the time it takes. They can't short, shortcut the learning. They can't shortcut the lessons, the heartache, the failure. They can't do that. They are gonna shortcut your um, failure to success rate, and they're gonna help you through the things that, that you are like, oh, I don't know how to do this. So that's one thing. Seek out true experts that, and then I'll put one more caveat in there, that you can trust. Like you have to be able to trust them. The fruits are labors. Like you have to know what they've done, what they've created, and if it's working for them, great. But they also have to have been through what you've been through. If they haven't been through what you've been through in the last few years, then it's likely they don't remember what struggles you're dealing with. Not quite so much. Um, if they're trying to teach you how to build a business. It's different if they're doing other things for you. Um, that's the, that's the first thing. Seek out experts you can trust and get their help, okay? The second thing you should do, is, like stop everything right now and say, I don't care how long you've been in this. I don't care if you've been this for three years and you're making decent money. What you need to do is go do research. Like you, you need to get on the phone with people that are in your market, your audience, and talk with them. We hide behind this tech. Infomeneurs, you, you hide behind the digital funnels and campaigns, all this stuff that everybody tells you you need to do. And when you do it that way, you're bound to have, you just beat your head against the wall. You don't have to do that. So call real humans. Talk to real people. Do research. Ask them questions. Find out what they're worried about, struggling with. In your audience, the people you're after to go serve, and then build something to help them, okay? I know it seems like one-on-one, but I'm saying build that. Don't build first, do research first, then build and sell. Really sell and then build. But that's what you need to do. If you'll get on the phone with those people, find out what's going on in their lives, you'll be so much better for it. And then your, your, your success, your momentum will just grow exponentially. So those are my two tips that would, that would help you at no matter where you are in the infopreneur space. If you've done well, if you're learning, if you're new or you're brand new, you're figuring it out. That's what you need to do. Get on the phone with people, 
get out in front of the people that you want to talk to, uh, make connections on, on the social platforms, like actually go make connections and then message people, make new friends, find out what they're going through, help people, go into some, some forums and help people, just help them. Because when you do that, you're going to find new friends and new people that need, need more of your assistance and you can learn from them. If you seek to learn, you seek to serve, you're going to grow and you're going to, you're going to grow and you're going to do just fine. But I have learned that in the info space, it's the crazy thing. It's not always what you know. You need to know. You need to be an expert. You need to be good at what you do. You absolutely do. But knowing the things is far less important than doing the actions. Accomplish something big and push forward. And you've likely done that if you're listening to this right now. But know that if you're an entrepreneur and you want to get ahead, you've got to get the right people, trust them, and you've got to make sure that you're actually helping people that you know you can help by talking with people. That's the key to success. In this world, it's easy to connect with people all over the world that need your help. That's the beauty of social media. That's the beauty of, uh, but it's not through ads even. You'll get there. You'll get there. But it's just through connections, talking with people, helping people. I hope that you've learned something new today and this is just another small way to automate big. <laughs>